I have done it. I have added another subscription box to my collection. I did it on a whim at like 12 in the morning before I went into work one day and I was looking at it and I said, I could do one box or I could do a whole year's worth. And so I said, screw it, let's do a whole year's worth. So that's where we're at. Now, uh, I have, it, the box I am talking about is this one right here. It is the, uh, the Glow Addict or the Glow Addict box, as people would probably call it. I've seen Alexandria Ryan talk about it. And then of course, when you start like kind of getting stuff in your, your mind, the, the interwebs, they go, oh, you're thinking about that. So here, we're gonna show it to you on every single social media platform you have. So then I got an ad for it on uh, Facebook a couple times and then Instagram. And so one day in the middle of the night, I clicked on it and it gave me a coupon. And so I, I think I got 30% off of my order or 40% off something. It was it was pretty significant. I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. So with it being that much off, I'm gonna go ahead and do the year long subscription because that counted for that as well. Now, here's what I'll say. The boxes retail at $18.99 a piece. They are much more indie brand, niche brand, a lot less value. Uh, even according to them in the box, I think they say that most of their boxes retail at least at $75. But with the, the discount off, I was like, okay, cool, I'll do it. I'll Let's commit to it, whatever. I like doing unboxings. You guys like watching unboxings, let's do it. So we did it and uh, plot twist, I got $40 off of the $200 for the subscription for the year. And then uh, shipping came out to like, oh, exactly for $40. So I still paid exactly the same thing. So I basically, I got free shipping. So about $200 is going to get me uh, 12 boxes and this is box number one. So let's jump into it. I do also know, that I don't think that there's variation within the box. I think that everybody gets the same box every month which honestly, as a smaller brand, um, I don't think they have as big of a following as of course, like Ipsy and BoxyCharm and, and FabFitFun and the other mainstream subscription boxes do. I don't see a problem with there not being as much customization or any customization really in this case, um, just because they are much more um, of what I would call like a small scale kind of like mom and pop shop brand at the moment. So it could change, but right now there's no customization options. Like what their box is, is what you're gonna get. So let's jump into it. Okay, well, first of all, let's talk about, let's talk about this. What is this? Do you see how big that is? It's like a foot long. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's from 1520, I gotta open it. I don't know what it is. I think it's a mascara maybe. That's what it looks like is a mascara, but it's from the brand 1520. Can't even open it, I don't even know. Yeet. Good catch. All right, while he's doing that, I'm gonna look at uh, some more stuff. So the next thing that we got is actually something I'm really excited about. This is from Naked Cosmetics. It is a loose glitter shimmer eyeshadow and I've gotten a Naked Cosmetics pressed eyeshadow and it was a long time ago. It was from my BoxyCharm, I believe. Um, and I really liked it. So I was really impressed with that. That was more of like a rose gold. This is a, a silver color so i'm actually kind of excited to use this one too so that's that's a good product in my opinion uh, interesting hmm i'm trying to figure out why they're called that is that just the name or, or what so we got some fake lashes you guys if you know me i don't really do fake lashes they're just not my thing I i'm lucky enough to have pretty long natural eyelashes so i don't like to glue fake ones to my eyelid because i always glue my eyes shut so I just don't really do it. I've done it a couple times, sometimes successfully, sometimes not successfully. So I just try and avoid it altogether. But these are some really gorgeous, long, fake eyelashes. I think they might look cool for a particular look or something like that. But the name is really what I was like, hmm, the brand looks like Nina Fresa Cosmetics, but it's the, the title of them is, is 420 somewhere. So I'm trying to figure out what makes them uh, 420 friendly. Are they made with CBD oil? Are they just, is that just like a, a cute name for them? So interesting, but they are really nice long eyelashes. I think it'll definitely be like an interesting look to create with it. Okay, coming back at me. Caught it, caught it. You're looking for me in the NBA, the WNBA, I guess. But, or I, I don't know, baseball, what? I don't know, I don't do sports, I do makeup. It's a brush. Pretty brush. One that I think I probably will wind up using. Soft too. I've never heard of the brand, but I feel like with this particular subscription box, it's kind of gonna be a lot of that, like a lot of brands that you don't really necessarily know offhand, but hopefully they're gonna get in, in, in your radar and in front of your face and you're kind of gonna be able to do some more with them. So this, this brush, nice, pretty eyeshadow brush, good, thick, sturdy metal handle. 
Um, and again, the name is 1520. That's the name of the brand. I like the way that they packaged it. It really did do a good job of protecting the brush because it comes in like this kind of like telescope looking, throwing it, throwing it again by accident this time. But yeah, I'm excited about that one. That one looks cool. So moving along. The next thing we have is a mild black liquid eyeliner from Ocalon. I don't know uh, the brand. I'm gonna keep saying that just because it's my instinct, but I obviously I don't think I'm gonna know many of these brands besides Naked, which I, I know they're because of other subscription boxes. But anyway, just a nice standard liquid eyeliner. Once again, for a box like this, that's I would kind of expect something like that. So the last thing I'm really excited about. So this is from the same brand as the eyeliner. This is the Perfect Stylist Eyes 24 Color Eyeshadow Palette. This was really what sold me on this box. I was able to look at past boxes and see what they offered. And pretty much every single box includes some sort of eyeshadow palette or face palette or something like that. And that to me is a really big deal. Most of the time I'm willing to pay $18 for an eyeshadow palette. When you're looking at a box that's roughly $18, I think when I did the year long subscription, it wound up coming to about like $16.50 or $17 a box. Um, and that includes shipping, which shipping is not free with this company. Obviously it being smaller, it makes sense to me as well. So that to me, I'm willing to pay that for an eyeshadow palette just to try it out. Even if it's a brand I don't know. So I was pretty excited when I saw that, which was really the decision and the final decision-making uh, nail in the coffin, if you will, for me joining the subscription service. So, so let's see how this palette looks. It's really big, if you guys uh, can't tell on camera. It is a very, it's, I mean, it's like the size of my face. So it's a, it's a good size palette. It is really stuck in there, but holy cow. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to sacrifice like a goat or a virgin or something to get this out. I don't know. Stand by for technical difficulties. <laughs> ah, there we go. Got it. Got it from the back. Hey. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> this comes with just a lot. A lot of colors, a lot of things. So you've got a highlighting shade, you've got a bronzing shade, you've got a blush shade over here, you've got two really nice big blending shades over here, and then you've just got a mix of nice, they're what I would call neutral colors, but there's still some pops of color in there that really stand out. There's a really pretty like purple shade. There's a, uh, a nice kind of like deep blue glimmer, almost teal shade. So you've, you've got a lot of stuff that you can do with this palette, which I, I'm kind of interested in. What I, I do find funny, and I have to point this out, I'm not sure why, but like for certain, this is a Christmas themed palette. Like there, there's a Christmas tree right here. So uh, it's May, it's the May box. I, I got the May box. It's not like I got like an old, because like, I signed up in the middle of May. It's not like I got like an old box or anything. Like this is what they marketed. And like, it's like, there's a Christmas tree. The shade is called Jingleberry. But then there's some like rose, like some spring looking flower. So I don't know. I don't know what if what they're trying to do with that. Uh, what I'm most likely going to do is uh, everybody seemed to really like the Boxy Charm try on where I, I tested the products. I think we're gonna start doing that with all of the subscription boxes we get because it's the best way to show if the products are actually worth it, not just on initial inspection, but actually in. Um, when it push comes to shove and in, in execution as well. So I think this might be a fun box to do a little test on with. It will be very challenging because there's a lot of things that I don't necessarily do all the time for makeup. Fake eyelashes and eyeliner, those are two of the things I don't normally do and those are two of the products in this box. So I'm definitely interested. Uh, like I said, I committed to a year of this. So we've got at least a year worth of uh, glow addict boxes to come. So uh, I'm excited to see what the, the future holds for us. I'm gonna do my best to not look at spoilers or check anything because there is no variation. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging because really if you see it on their website or on um, social media anywhere, then you're probably gonna know what you're getting. But like I said, pretty exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the page yet, please do so. We have a lot of subscription boxes and uh, a lot of hauls and a lot of uh, other makeup related things. So, uh, so yeah, you should hit the subscription, bo uh, subscription button and then press, press the notification bell so that Nikki's judging me right now. Stop judging me. You come do this with your messed up hair. You haven't even showered, you're a mess. You look like a mess. Fix yourself. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a great day and other than that, just stay girly with a dark twist.